Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a great day. I'm very excited about today's video because I got a special package in the mail today. Uh, and what is in here is my pre-order that has arrived. I ordered this months ago from Yoseka Stationery. This is the Sailor Pro Gear. I splurged and got the Pro Gear um, in their home pen. Just stopping in to let everybody know that I filmed my video on August 3rd prior to having any knowledge that the pens that were sent out from Yoseka were not in fact their original design. These are images from the Yoseka website which show the lighter gold trim which is what I got and then the solid gold nib um, instead of the bicolored nib that was part of the original design. Yoseka has been incredible with their communication and we have been given the option to either return the pen um, that they will send back to Sailor and get the original design or keep the pen and get a 10% credit, I believe, at the store, which is what I am going to do because I absolutely love this pen. You'll see very quickly when I open the pen that I have no idea that this isn't the design I was supposed to get. I fell in love immediately and it wrote beautifully, which is why I plan to keep it. Shout out to Neil and Daisy at Yoseka. Thanks for being amazing. And I look forward to doing a little shopping with my credit pen. So I already had the Sailor Refresh pen, which I got at the store in Brooklyn. I was able to meet Daisy. I have a fun video about my first visit to Yoseka. And I honestly just fell in love with the store, with the community feeling in that store. And with Daisy, I love her videos on YouTube. And I just believe in this company. And when they did the pre-order, they were really tugging at my heartstrings because it ended up being more expensive than they had anticipated. They needed pre-orders and they put so much love into everything they do. There was no way I couldn't order it. To this point, I've only had Pro Gear Slim. So I'm very excited to see how I like the Pro Gear. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we are going to get to it. I know they added some extra special things in the box. And I'm also going to show you all of my other Pro Gear Slim pets and I have one uh, Shikiori, I think it's a 1911, the fifth anniversary pen. And then we will open all of the goodies in this box and show you my new pen. I hope you enjoy it. I ordered this on pre-order. This is their home edition. This is the third pen in their three-part series. I also have the Sailor Refresh. I do not have the Origin pen as of right now. I purchased the Sailor Refresh when I went to New York City last year and I love it. I just put a new ink in this today and I'm loving it so much. I put in Stroke of Midnight by Ferris Wheel Press and it's absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you a writing sample. I did my ink sample with it and it's just so pretty. This is one of the very first inks that I ever bought a full bottle of and I put it in this Sailor and it did not work at all. This is a medium fine, and my Yoseka Refresh is a broad nib. The medium fine, it did not work at all. I was super discouraged. It was my first gold nib. Since then, I've learned much more about ink and what works with what pens. This combination is absolutely beautiful. I also use um, the Sailor Manyo ink in here, which is gorgeous. I sampled it with a different pen this month. This was the original ink I bought for this pen. I love my Sailor Refresh. These are all of my Pro Gear Slims, which I really love. This is a broad nib. This is a fine nib, and I believe these three are all the medium fine, which is very typical. So here we are. Thank you for pre-ordering our home Yoseka Fountain Pen series. This release would not have been possible without your support, and we are so grateful to be able to share it with you in this box. You'll find some extra goodies designed by our team that we hope will bring you joy as you use your new fountain plant pen. And this is from Daisy, who I love so much. Hi, Lori. Thank you so much for pre-ordering our home pen. Hope you love it and that it brings you joy and inspiration. I love the meaning behind this pen, home. It just really resonated with me. And I have never purchased a pro gear, but I just really believe in this company. So it kind of made my decision easy. And I pre-ordered 
to help support and I'm very excited. Look at this packaging, how beautiful. I started to film this video with the light on and I decided I liked the natural lighting better because I always want to give an accurate depiction of the color. Oh, and they have such a talented staff. Oh, look at these stickers. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Oh, these are all three. This must be the refresh and origin and home. You know, I don't have origin. One of these days, I will probably get it. <laughs> but I said this was going to be my last sailor pen, but I feel like I may have to complete this. And I don't have a green pen that I love. Oh, those are so adorable. Wow. New York City since 2017. What a great sticker. And I believe Ashley and May may have designed these, and I'm sure maybe some of the other people on the team. This is so cute. I saw this in their Instagram. I didn't realize they were all stickers. I just love that. Yoseka Ceramics, beautiful. This is so pretty. I love all those colors. And a stamp. And then Greenpoint, New York. These are so adorable. So all these little extras for the pre-order. That is so nice. So cute. Oh, this is a, just a little explanation about home. It just is all about how Yoseka has become their home and how it's a safe place for everybody to be themselves and be creative. I just love them. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is heavy, heavy canvas. This is so nice. And it looks like it's a nice little pen pouch size. Look at that. This is adorable. It's in here. These are some really nice goodies so far. Oh my goodness, look at this. I can put this in my traveler's notebook. And I actually bought one at Yoseka. This is a brass token. Look at that, and it has the three. Wow, is that beautiful. Collect one lucky charm. The Yoseka brass token is meant to be a lucky charm that can be attached to your favorite notebook or stationary items. We hope carrying the charm brings you good luck in all of your adventures. Oh my goodness. I love this. Um, this is funny enough. This is the one that I bought when I was at Yoseka. This passport size. And I started this when I was in um, Acadia National Park. I started doing some writing and there's my family when we climbed to the top of bubble rock so i started my journaling there and this would be perfect for this because i bought it at yoseka oh and i didn't have one for this and i'm also going to bring this to japan with me i have a different one for japan but oh i love that that is so special and there's one more thing in here oh it's a little pin for home, I think I'm gonna put that right on here. I will put that here. That is gorgeous, oh my gosh. I just love all the details. And now, for the big moment. I'm super excited to share this with you, it's beautiful. Here we go. And I also wanna say, I love minimal packaging. Um, I just recently got the Momento Zero Grande and it's beautiful, but all of these big boxes, I just don't know what to do with them. So my Scribo came in a nice small package and I like that Sailor does small packaging too. So here we go. There it is. I already cut the bottom off here. I'm so in love with this pen. <laughs> I really am. It's got all the beautiful neutral warm tones just in time for fall. Let me move this so it's not in your way. We can focus on all the beauty here. This is like a vanilla color. It's like this opaque vanilla. It kind of reminds me a little bit of this one. Although this one is a little bit more transparent, I would say, but just for reference, See how this is more ivory and this is more like a vanilla. It's just so warm and beautiful. And then this is, I would say like a mossy green um, on the finial there. And here's the home. Get that nice, there we go. Beautiful. And I love when the section is a little bit of a different color. Now this reminds me of the um, 
Christmas pudding. But also what I like about it is there's like an extra little cap in there that protects your nib and I, I imagine also keeps your ink wet. I wanna see if you can see the sparkle. So it's got the green um, in the finial and then it's the vanilla here and then the clear acrylic here with the sparkle and then the section. And I know that that added to the cost but also I do want to look for comparison size. It's not that much bigger. I was always curious like how much bigger the Pro Gear was next to the Pro Gear Slim. So let me just actually, I'm going to take the tray back because my pens roll all around here. So the Yoseka Home is a Pro Gear and the Pro Gear Slim to the right of that is next to it. It is definitely chunkier. Like this isn't this isn't sitting flush inside uh, the groove here where this one fits right inside. So this is definitely has a little more girth to it, maybe a centimeter or two longer. So I'm excited to see how this is, like how it feels when I'm writing. But let's see what else is in the box. I know there's a converter in here. Let me get the little thing from Sailor. They also gave you some cartridges. Looks like they're probably black and it came with a converter. The big question is, what are we going to ink this with? I have no idea what I wanna do. I feel like a nice caramel color would look really pretty with this section. I have Cocoa Shimmer by Diamine that could work. Um, and I probably should flush this out too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the right thing and flush this out. I'll be right back. I've been trying to flush out my pens, especially when I'm doing a, like an unboxing or any any review style thing, because I want to give the pen the best opportunity to perform well. And what I've learned with Sailor pens is, you know, they're, they have finer nibs, even though I got a medium nib. I just want to make sure I can, you know, have it present in the best possible way. So I'm tempted to do Yule Log, which was from the Inkvent calendar because I do feel like that would look nice in the brown. Um, I also have Cocoa Shimmer, which I bought recently. But I'm a little nervous for Shimmer in here. My other option is Pelican Brilliant Brown. This is just such a well-behaved ink. It always performs well. It's clean, no shimmer. The other option is I could go with the green and I was thinking of the color Salamander. That's an option. Um, I think there was some green in here. This is like me in the nail salon when I'm picking out nail polish. You'd, th you'd think it's like a life or death situation, the amount of time it takes me to pick a color sometimes. Oh, here we go. So like Alpine could work. See that green, if I wanted to go in that, that has a little shimmer. Uh, this Olive Swirl, I've tried this in so many pens and I just struggle with, it. it's a really dry ink I have found. So unless it's a broad nib, because that would look really sharp in here. I think that could be really fun. Um, the Alpine looks nice. If we want to go that route. So fun fact, my first two full bottles was, was the, the one I showed you um, with Ferris Wheel Press. I ordered that and then I drove to Boston to buy this for my Twisby Eco and Rose Gold, this Pelican Brown. You know, it's just, it's just so consistent. But you don't get much variation with it. Let's give that a second to dry. Right, I think I moved the shimmers around enough. I do love this color. Mm, I feel this is a better match. This dip pen did not work so well for me the last time. I, 
I was doing a little sample. Diamine. That's nice. Doing a good job now. I love the way that's drying. Oh boy, look at that next to this section. That's gonna be it. I love it. I'm holding this funny. I'm on a weird angle here, sorry. Brilliant brown. Okay, just so we have a reference. I think I'm going with Coco Shimmer. I am just going to use my syringe here and then I'll prime it. Okay. There's a lot of shimmer in there. All right, decision made. I really want to take an inventory of all of my inks before I go to Japan so that I have a good idea of what would be useful for me when I go there. And I definitely want to replace this. Okay, let's clean up here. Oh, it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. I can actually cap this. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm not just saying this. This writes like a dream. Okay, this is the pro gear. Wow, this is with a medium nib. This ink is great in here, I think. I'm so in love with this. I think because it's just a tiny bit bigger than the Pro Gear Slim, it just fits so nicely in my hand. I can't get over how beautiful it is. This is my Hobonichi Weeks that I put in here. And I do a little gratitude journal over here. And I, I track sometimes how I'm doing health-wise, like if I'm getting 10K steps in and whatnot, and always add things that I'm grateful for. Sometimes I go back and I look at like my morning pages, like I've obviously missed a few days. So now we are in a new month. So it's Thursday the 3rd. All right, so it's, it's putting down a lot of ink. I would say that this is pretty broad for a medium because so many Japanese pens um, are known for how fine they write. And I would say this is putting down a lot of ink. And I like that. It, it's feeling more like a broad nib to me. I got these little notepads at the dollar store. I can't remember what the brand was, but um, if you look at the paper, it says made in India. And it's so wonderful for fountain pen ink. So I love this for my little samples. And I also just wanna show you, you know, this is on like a, yellowish paper, Tomoe River. And then this is Claire Fontaine. And now this is just dollar store. But I wanted to compare nib size for you. So if I go like this, this is the medium. Nope, oh, I did two eyes there, medium. My refresh is broad nib. Okay, you can see the difference. And these are all Sailor. This is broad. Yeah, I guess this does feel a little bit thicker. This is medium fine. You can see that. Oh yeah. Medium fine. And I believe my apple blossom or cherry blossom, I'm sorry, is a fine.
Yep. So you can see the differences. I probably should have done them in order, fine, medium, fine, medium, and then broad. But wow, I, I go through phases where I love all my Leonardo's because they're so colorful. And then I switch back and I love the refinement in the precision of my sailor pens. And I'm so excited for this one. I love it. And so you saw it here with natural light. I have a window right here. And this is such a nice spot to do my writing samples, except of course, when the sun is coming down and then it can get in the way. In this little package, we got this beautiful canvas pen pouch. There is my Yoseka home. We got this lovely bookmark that talks about the story behind the pen. We got the beautiful thank you card from Daisy. Of course, the little pin. It's so cute. I love that. All these fantastic stickers created by some of the employees there. Uh, origin, then refresh, and then home. I think I'm going to need to get that origin one. I'm trying not to buy into hype, but I'm creating my own. Look at how cute that little stamp is. I'm trying to get everything in the frame here. And of course, my favorite, favorite thing is the little brass token for my traveler's notebook. How beautiful is all of this? Thank you so much, Daisy and Yoseka team for all of the beautiful special details that make your company so very special. I love my home pen. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am so thrilled about my new pen, my new home pen. Aren't the colors just gorgeous? They came at a perfect time because I'm in like pumpkin spice mode already. This is about the time of year that I get excited. I'm even like going back to like fall color on my nails. Thank you so much to the Yoseka team for putting so much thought and love into this pen, as well as the beautiful goodies that they sent along. I'm so excited to pop this onto my traveler's notebook. Oh, I think the the section on this matches you, Lumpy. You need to stay very, very far away from my pens. You got a hold of my Lamy Joy and it, it was not joyful. If you wanna see more pen content, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an upload. And let me know in the comments if you plan to get any of the Yoseka pens, the Origin, the Refresh, or the Home. And just putting some fresh inks in my Sailor Pens has just renewed my love for them. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll be back soon with another one. Take care.